I'm Sean Callahan, the new CEO of Catholic Relief Services. I may look familiar to you. That's because I've been with CRS for 28 years. CRS was not always in my plan. My goal earlier in life was to become a Supreme Court Justice. My mom thought it would be great to have a lawyer in the family. Sorry, Mom. But I started working with CRS in Latin America when I was in graduate school, and I realized this is where I needed to be. People have asked me how I planned out my career, but I really didn't plan out anything. For me, it's been about faith. Things happen for a reason. You learn from your experiences, and they all become the building blocks to whom you become. I've worked overseas for a large part of my career, including in Central America and Asia. I was fortunate to work with St. Teresa of Calcutta and the Missionaries of Charity in India. But I have also been fortunate to find inspirational people wherever I go. One of those is Danilo in Nicaragua. Danilo was a kid who helped me do little tasks. One day I was driving home and saw a bicycle and two wheelchairs lying in the street. A car had come through and hit all three. This was wartime in Nicaragua and I ended up blocking the road so no one else would get hurt. But I didn't know how to get an ambulance. All of a sudden, there was Danilo on the other side of the road, ready to help. I still don't know how he did it, but Danilo got an ambulance there. He was a little kid, paying it forward, big time. I think we have all been given certain gifts by God, and so my prayer is, help me do the best I can do. I think it's crucial to start at home and then bring that mindset to the workplace. What can I do that will make someone's life a little bit better and bring a smile? I'm confident that if we can do that in our work and family relationships, hopefully we can extend that further to those we serve overseas. I am very honored to be CRS's CEO. This organization already does so many things well. I want to continue on that legacy, but be a little bit bolder and bigger. I will push the agency to be the best technical agency we can be, that we provide the right services to the most people at the most critical time, whether it's responding to emergencies, health concerns like Ebola, or continuing issues like the refugee crisis and stunting in children. You can't do things alone in this world anymore. We need to reach out to others, particularly our church partners and local communities overseas, and work with them and strengthen their ability to respond and grow. Finally, I want to grow our presence in the United States so people know who we are, what we're doing, and how they can get behind us. In my 28 years with CRS, I'd say the most important thing for me has been the people with whom I've worked. Not just our staff members, who have been incredible, but our local partners on the ground. It's really been fantastic to meet people who are out there giving their lives every day. And so, Whenever someone says to me, what can one person do? The problems are too big. I just say, Mother Teresa, the Dalai Lama. There's so many people that have done what one person can do, and it's turned out to be a movement that you really want to be part of. Thank you for supporting CRS and for supporting those who bring our mission to life.